welcome to a new vlog. I thought we could hang out for the weekend. I've got lots of lovely things happening that I want to share with you. And the first lovely thing of the weekend is going to the cinema with my sister to go and see the new Barbie film, which I am so looking forward to. So looking forward to spending time with my sister. And also so excited to be sharing the film with her. I have heard so many amazing things about it. So I wanted to wear something pink to go and see Barbie. And I was like, that's, that's more like peach, isn't it? I can't really say that that's classed as pink. And then the only thing I have got is this little like loungewear set that I wear at home, but I'm not sure that I want to wear that to the cinema. So instead, I have gone for this play suit that I've got from Zara. My friend had got it when we went away on the Hindu back in May and I absolutely loved it and ordered one. And um, so I'm gonna wear this instead. I absolutely loved it, absolutely loved it. I would 100% give it a 10 out of 10. If you haven't been to see it, I highly recommend going to see it. It just made me like feel all the good feels. It made me laugh like out loud many times. And I just love like the message behind it. And I thought that that was done really really well really really well um yeah i would i would literally happily go and see it again my sister said the same like when we came out she's like i'd happily go and watch that again when we came out of the cinema we were reminiscing about our childhood and you know our memories of playing with barbies they had like a huge, played a huge part in our childhood. And, you know, not just with my sister, but like with friends as well. Like I used to play with them for hours or the role playing and um, yeah, it was. So, you know, to, to all these years later to to go and see it, like be created into into a film. And um, yeah, it was just like, it was just so much more than that. So much more than that. Does anybody else feel like it could be made into a musical? I can just like see it on the stage. I hope so. I hope I'm like kind of putting that kind of energy and vibration out into the universe because I would absolutely go and see that on the stage. When I was watching Barbie, there was an outfit that Ken was wearing. If you have seen it, you'll know what I'm referring to, but I have a coat that literally just made me think of the coat that Ken was wearing. I don't think I am ever going to be able to wear this coat in the same way again, or at least without feeling like I am embracing Ken energy. I might be the only one thinking this, but if you're thinking the same, let me know in the comments. Now that I am home, I am going to do some prep for an event that I am taking part in tomorrow. The event is called Strong Girl Summer. It is in Manchester with the lovely Abby and the lovely Carly. We are coming together to share all the high vibes. We've got a workout, we've got a bar class, we've got yoga, we've got meditation, we've got amazing goodie bags and also some delicious food. I am gonna make some energy balls. The recipe that I am following is a Feed Me Mama recipe. I had these energy balls when I was on a retreat this year. They were so delicious. So I was like, I know what I'm going to make for this event. And then I also need to put together the playlist for the event. I'm just putting the energy balls into the fridge to set. So I have made plenty. <laughs> I've made them for the event tomorrow, but then also for the book club event at the studio on Monday, but you can freeze them. So I'm gonna put them in the freezer so that they'll be nice and fresh for Monday. I didn't do my morning routine today. And the reason for that is because I intentionally woke up at five, 
so that I could then dive into some work. Now, I do not make a habit of that. That is not something that I even regularly do. But it was the only window of time that I have had this week to get that work done. So if you watched last week's video, I shared how I have been looking after my grandma and I haven't been at home. And so my workflow has kind of like been all over the place. And that work was to get last week's video edited and uploaded. And like sticking to my upload schedule is really important. Like I, you know, it's important I follow through with my word. And last week I was actually late uploading a video and I'm not about doing it like two times in a row. And um, so yeah, I just gave myself the permission that I just needed to do that work today and I know I'll have like no problems getting like back into the flow of my morning routine from tomorrow. And so instead today, I am doing an afternoon routine. I'm gonna do my workout, asana meditation. I think I'm going to see my journaling and reading my the bed and do it like a bit like a bedtime journaling practice. So I'm gonna go and do my workout first, I think. going to the shops to get dinner for tonight. I think we're going to have burgers and sweet potato fries. Happy Saturday. I am um ready for the event today so today's outfit i've decided to go for the matching tala set and i've gone for the little crop top and then the matching leggings too and then i think i'm gonna take a hoodie because it's a bit cool outside it is sunny right now but the weather's been so up and down this lately so yeah i'm prepared i have got everything all ready to go i've got the drinks and then the energy balls that I made yesterday. I'm not feeling ready for my smoothie right now. However, I'm gonna make one. The journey to get to Manchester from here is just like about an hour and 45. So I'm gonna make my smoothie and have that on the way and then also make myself a green tea and then take some water. I'm going to use the chocolate free soul vegan protein blend with a banana, oats and peanut butter and the free soul greens too. I've got drinks, I've got the things needed for the event, I'm ready to go. I always do this if I'm going on a journey because the cup holder situation in my little car isn't great so I use this little crate instead. <laughs>
was full of all the high vibes. Oh, I just felt like, yeah, the whole thing was just amazing. And it was so nice to do the event with Carly and Abby and everything just like worked so well together. Like everything just complemented each other. So we started the event with Carly's bar workout and then Abby did a workout and then I did a yoga and meditation practice. And then afterwards we had some food and yeah, just spent that time like connecting and you know, it was so nice to meet so many new people as well. And yeah, I just had an incredible day and then she like drove back and had a really nice chilled evening. And then now I am about to head out for a walk, a catch up and brunch with a very dear friend of mine. We have had this planned in the diaries for a long while, but it has come around really, really quick. Um, so yeah, I have seen her, but we have, yeah, we were just like so ready for like a good catch up. So we'll be, the walk is about like an hour and a half, I think. And then the, we like walk back to our cars and then near our cars, that's where the little places where we're going to go and have some brunch. What a lovely way to start a Sunday. We had such a good catch up and it was so nice going for a walk and then we had some delicious food. Now that I am home, I want to do my Sunday rituals of getting grounded and organised ready for the weekend. My journaling practice on a Sunday is always a little more reflective on the week that's gone by and I just give myself the, the space and the opportunity to compassionately reflect on the things that maybe went well, the may, maybe the things that didn't go so well, where I need to take responsibility, what wisdom I can learn and apply it to next week and it just helps me to stay on track it helps me to stay accountable in flow and yeah I just always feel like I get a lot of inspiration when I reflect and it helps me to then feel really inspired for a new fresh week. Sundays are for filling in my weekly planner so my planner also has the monthly layout and on a Sunday, I look at that monthly view, look at the week that I'm going into and then take everything from that and apply it into the weekly layout and format. So I write all those things in, scheduling everything else that I need to do for that week, like all of the, the regular things that I do. And then I also schedule in when I can work on things within my professional life and my personal life as well. When we get organized, through a diary, through a planner, we are actually practicing yoga. There's quite a few different philosophy practices that we are tapping into. So the first one being the practice of a stayer, which is non-stealing of time and energy. In this context, it's the non-stealing of your own time and energy and making sure that you are optimizing your time, your energy, and making sure that things are in flow, making sure that you are holding yourself accountable and following through with things and, you know, getting really clear on opportunities where you can make something happen. If we aren't getting organized with our time and our energy, this is when we can start to lean into, I don't have time. And it, it's not so much that we don't have the time, it's maybe where we've not created opportunities or we have maybe just got lost in something, we've not prioritised our time and energy. So if we're working on anything, desires, projects, goals, they first start off within our minds with this thought and this desire, this intention, but they will need to be manifested and brought to life by the doing of something, the inspired action. And that inspired action requires time, it requires your energy. And we need to have a look in our diary at those gaps of thinking that that's a perfect opportunity to work on that thing. Otherwise, time will just pass us by and it will then just be like become weeks, months, it could then end up being years. You know, that's just time just flows away from us so quickly. And so by just checking in weekly, then we can schedule that time in. Also doing it weekly means that we can keep managing out the flow of our time and energy because 
you know, if we are using the words, I don't have time, we might have reflected on the week that's gone by and been like, but I haven't had time that week. And rather than feeling stuck with that, we can be like, I haven't had time this week, but where can I make time next week? So it becomes an opportunity rather than an excuse. So we're seeking the growth, we're seeking the expansion. That in itself is Fadhyaya, the practice of self-reflection and self-study. So rather than beating yourself up and being like, oh, like, I don't have time, I don't have time to show up for those things, I don't have time to do that. It's quite low vibrational, that cools us down. And when we're capable of so much more, we're wildly capable and you're deeply deserving of fulfilling your dreams and your desires. So instead, can we seek it as an opportunity to be like, okay, I didn't have time last week. Why? What, what didn't flow right? And where can I take the action to make that happen? That is then a practice of tapas, this determination to follow through, to make things become a reality, to hold yourself accountable for things that you put in your diary. Because it's not enough to just write the thing in, you have to do the thing. And when it comes to that moment in time, you might be like, Oh, uh, you know, I don't know, you might self-sabotage a bit, like, oh, I can't be bothered. Whereas if we remind ourselves of the reason why we're doing something, we've put it in, we follow through, we know it's worth it, we're doing it for the right reasons, and we need to just tap into this deeper inner fire and power to follow through to work on that thing. And then the last practice, and there's so many ways we can practice yoga philosophy, but one that brings comes to mind is the opportunity to practice brahmacharya, which is the protection and nourishment of our energy and your energy, as I mentioned in last week's video, is your responsibility. Your energy is yours to protect, to nurture, to keep vibrant. And so when we do any energy work, we are practicing brahmacharya. And so if you respect your time and your energy through the practices that I just shared with you, then you are practicing brahmacharya as well and you can redirect the flow of your energy. Now I'm all about like making things flow with a lot more ease. Like where things are easy, I let them be easy. Like I'm not about making things hard anymore for the sake of just being hard. And um, so yeah, practicing brahmacharya, this is like, where can I redirect my energy flow this week? Because I actually made things a lot harder last week. Or, you know, where can I let it be easy? Where can I take that pressure off? Um, what am I no longer available for and what am, am I available for? So just by doing a journaling practice and just by then filling in a planner, we're practicing yoga off the mat. We're welcoming yoga philosophy into our lives with ease. Like it gets to be, it's going to be easy. Why would we not want that for ourselves? Um, so yeah, that is just a little example of how I practice yoga every day and how I then live a yoga inspired lifestyle. You ready for some Sunday snuggles? <laughs> just got changed because we are going on a spontaneous trip to the cinema i was hoping to have worn a bit more of like a, a summer kind of dress but yeah i'm just gonna wear this knitted jumper dress and then just style it with my trainers rather than wearing a baseball hat i might wear my little bucket hat. I am just getting ready to leave. I have been working from home all day. I am going to be heading down to the studio now to teach a class. And then after the class, we have got our second book club. I have been making juices this afternoon. I have done an orange, carrot and ginger. And then I have done like a green juice with lime, apple and celery. It's, oh, and ginger. Ginger's in that one as well. And I have defrosted the energy balls that I made on Friday. So they are all ready to eat. And so yeah, I just need to pack everything up and then head down to the studio.